puberty earlier than ever, which could have harmful consequences. A new study from Cincinnati Children's Hospital finds the trend is getting worse. Gene Anderson reports on what might be behind that troubling trend. Young girls' bodies are maturing faster than their brains can keep up. A new study finds that 42% of African-American girls have hit puberty by the age of eight, little girls, in teenage bodies. And simply because one is physically more mature does not mean they're any more socially mature or psychologically mature. The study looks at how many seven and eight-year-old girls recently showed signs of puberty and compares those numbers to a similar study from 13 years ago. Over that time period, the trend increased among all races. And even though the percentages of young white girls entering puberty is not as high as other races, their numbers doubled. Researchers say the rise in childhood obesity could be one cause, environmental toxins another. Whether food that they've eaten or products that are used for personal care products as well as uh, products that could be used at their homes. Other research has linked an early puberty with an increased risk for breast cancer. And for that reason, this study looks specifically at breast maturity in young girls. Whether that also plays a role in cancer development remains to be seen. What is for sure is that little girls are growing up faster than ever. Researchers say parents might be able to actually help delay the onset of puberty by encouraging healthy eating and physical activity. Dr. Biro also recommends that children avoid shampoos and lotions that contain phthalates, which can activate estrogen receptors in the body. I'm Jean Anderson, King 5 Health Link, linking you to better health.
why you see all these girls with real severe menstrual cramps, uh, big breasts, cancer that follows behind that. And if you just look around, the cancer, we're not talking about 60, 70, 80-year-old women getting cancer. We're talking about young girls, 20s, 30s. That's way, totally unheard of. So this is a serious issue. The other thing which I have not mentioned, which is soy. Now, soy is extremely toxic, and it has 500% excess female estrogen. Now, soy has traditionally always been grown in China because it is a natural uh, fluoride and uh, arsenic removal plant. So it extracts the arsenic out on the ground. This is why China has grown so much soybean originally. And they had tons of these beans, and going, they knew they were toxic. And they had to find some solution to utilize this great product, other than just plow it back into the ground, which, you know, handles the toxicity of arsenic. So they made soy sauce, they made uh, miso, highly fermented materials in order to cancel out the toxicity of soybean. Now, when it gets into the plastics, styrofoam, especially when you go to Chinese restaurants, they'll saute these hot foods, run it right into the styrofoam, and there you have it. High concentrated plastic, phytates, female estrogen materials that now you are directly All that plastic bottles. Now, 90% of the water that are in bottles is made from reverse osmosis water. It has no minerals. It's highly acidic. Usually it has a pH of 5.5 to 6.4 pH. This water will extract the plastic from the bottle. Even if it's number one, it is reverse osmosis. It has no minerals. And so this is something that one has to be definitely aware that you are not just drinking cleaner water, but you're drinking acidic water that's loaded with plastic, another female estrogen source that you should definitely, definitely not do. So, take care, be aware, and I'll see you next time.